welcome back to yet another video. My name is Emil and um, today I want to look at my one of my latest uh, builds actually um, that white thing up here. Um, it is a low watt, um, 5 watt single ended EL84 amp but the cool thing is it is in stereo so um, it's a perfect uh, if, you, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I like to play in stereo, have the bouncing stereo delay. So this is a, an excellent like rehearsal practice, maybe even a gig amp. I haven't tried it for that yet. Uh, it isn't tested uh, all that much, so I don't want to bring it on gigs uh, as of yet. But um, it does have that cool um, plexi sound. Um, since it is a single-ended amp, uh, it doesn't have a phase inverter. So uh, in the preamp, there's only one 12AX7 or ECC83. Um, so two gain stages, very similar to, to the old Plexi. Uh, the Plexi, however, do get some more push uh, uh, from the phase inverter. But the gain amounts are similar. So let's turn off the boost. Um, today I'm using the Keeley um, uh, four knob compressor as a boost. It, it is a great alternative. Um, so we have this. And with the boost on, You can do some serious uh, shredding and high gain stuff too, but it's not it's not a high gain amp, uh, absolutely not. Um, I've had this project, um, like uh, I wanted to do this project for a while now. So uh, stereo plexi for you folks today, uh, and it looks so cool. It, it is like one of the coolest uh, stereo amps. Uh, <laughs> I must have seen. Uh, it's actually a Swedish uh, brand, AGA, A-G-A. Um, so, I mean, um, I've just reused, repurposed this amp. Uh, it came with a, the same transformers, the sort of like 5 watt uh, single ended. Uh, I did, however, strip out all the all the components for the preamp and all inputs. Um, I since I'm I'm using a effects loop too, uh, so with my pedal board and, and delays, it, it sounds really cool live, and you can play very low and to an acceptable like rehearsal or gigging level. So this is I'm hoping in the future I can like gig with this because uh, rather than um, bringing these two. Uh, it's it weighs like half of the the studio vintage and it's very compact and sounds very very cool. <laughs> I, I really like it. Um, it has uh, bass, middle and treble controls all in Swedish so you have to know what that is uh, and a, a gain gain knob. Uh, however it does have some very cool like push push buttons uh, which I haven't used for anything but I'm thinking in the future maybe if I want to build in um, a boost 
or I don't know, even a delay to make this like a uh, ready gig ready, just plug straight in and, and get the tone that I that I love. Uh, you could use these to like engage, uh, boost, delay, and I don't know, something like clipping diodes maybe on, on these two. Uh, that would be super cool, but this is just the, the core amp. Um, I'm gonna show you some um, some cool tones and then I'm gonna play you the whole song which I did in the, the beginning so you can uh, form your own opinion what you think uh, this is. Uh, it, it's basically me trying to make a plexi out of one tube. Um, so it, it's a really simple preamp. Uh, I mean it's uh, only a few capacitors and resistors and, and this tube, so there's really not much to it. Um, but to make it sound cool and not too thin and not too basic, that, I mean, so it, it took some trial and error to get it right. But I think it sounds pretty cool. It, it's a bit thin, so I might experiment with some decoupling capacitors to fatten it up a little bit, but um, it is, it's definitely, definitely cool. So, um, the boosted sound without, um, w with the gain actually maxed right now. Sort of like that. Uh, if I bring the gain down to my maybe preferred setting, like one, two o'clock ish, so you get that um, bright cap bite, uh, you get this. But I thought for this video, it sounded, well, in the studio, it sounded maybe a bit thin, so I, I, uh, raise the gain all the way up and that disables the bright cap basically so Without the boost. So I mean, it do have some some gain, but it's not uh, uh, considered high gain. Uh, however, I, I do like it. This is my first try actually in the in the studio, uh, live in the room um, with two. I use it with my one twelve um, cabs. So one with a cream back and the other one with a G twelve seventy five. It, it just sounds excellent, and with my my pedal board. Um, superb. So I really hope this amp, um, it, it's an old amp and I'm using the original Telefunken tubes from like the 60s. I think this amp is from like 63 or something. So I, I'm not sure if I want to bring this as a main amp on, on a show, but who knows, maybe it checks out and is indestructible. So whatever, um, let me know what you think. Is, uh, is this sounding cool? Um, comment and uh, like this video if you like this kind of stuff. And please subscribe to help grow this channel. Uh, Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye.